What's your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? Uh, my name is Kristen, and I am from Berkeley. I work in San Francisco, and I'm meeting my mom, and we're going to go see a show later this afternoon. Awesome. So. so you're a native Californian. Not a native Californian, native Virginian. Oh, so, That's a good move. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice move. I've been out here for 14 years, so I consider myself a native Californian at this point. I think that qualifies. Maybe not to the natives, though. So what was the reason for the move from Virginia? Uh, professional reasons. So got a job out here, decided to stay. But now you've got a vested interest, so i got to ask, what do you think of the proposal that you're going to be potentially voting on? I don't know if you're planning on voting for or against this, but there's a proposal coming up to split California into three different states. What's your take on that? I don't think it's necessary. I think it's we're, we're stronger united than we are divided, and it's going to cause a whole lot of headaches for us. So I'd rather keep us all together if we can. So what do you think of the proposal, and this one isn't on the ballot yet, yeah. to split California off from the rest of the country to be its own nation? No way. I mean, we can joke about it, but it's not serious. I'm not, no, I think that's not going to help us. We got we to gotta, we gotta set the standard by which everybody else is judged of pulling together as, as one country. Yeah, absolutely. Under one government. Under one government, I'm cool with that. So do you support uh, the United States ceding its sovereignty then to the United Nations so that we can pull together globally? I wouldn't go that far. Um, so well, how far would you go? About as far as I'm telling you, so. So just as far as the status quo. Let's get together and we'll deal with global issues. Let's, let's not have silly propositions. No, I mean, I consider it to be a little, you know, yeah, a little silly. To split California off from the rest California. of the country? Yeah, split California off from the rest of the country. Let's, let's keep together at least this way, and we'll deal with global issues on a global scale. So do you think people in Washington, D.C. can make decisions for California better than Californians could make them for themselves here? It's why we have a national government and why we have states government. And we keep the two together. We've got benefits and uh, trade-offs for all of them, and uh, that's why we've got to have Californians have to govern on a state level, local levels, and we've got our national government, so. So what's your favorite part of the federal government? Uh, the National Park Service, <laughs> the yeah. museums, the uh, science funding, the uh, all the money that it has to give to causes that uh, I support, so. Fan of the drug war? Not a fan of the drug war, but you know, my taxes go to some things I like, my taxes go to other things I'm not as crazy about, and I just have, made my peace with that to a certain extent. How about Trump's airstrikes in Syria? You support those? No, of course not. I mean, I don't, and that's why I speak out against them. That's why we have protests. That's why we have a certain governments, like, as we do. And, and Trump and the Republican tax cut plan? Not so crazy about it, but again, we got to keep everybody together, and if it's a democracy. We can't just rebel and run away if we don't like the way something is. We stand up and if we truly protect what our country, our country is about a democracy and if this is what we stand for. You know, you're right. Yeah. This, we got this whole revolution thing wrong. We should, I, we really should go back to being part of the UK, I, being part of the empire. Oh my gosh, you're right. We really, I mean, because yeah, with this, this whole rebellion thing, it's, it didn't really work out for us, did it? We've got we, get, we end up having like higher I'm taxes sure still. Line Queen would take us back, and uh, you know, you're taking these things to a logical extreme. I kind of like, you know, it's uh, what what Trump administration. Yeah, Trump administration. Not a big fan of it, but uh, you know, we we have our power. We have our voting power. Everybody vote in 2018 if you're not into the Trump administration, and if you are, you know. We got to have conversation around it. We can't just run away. So you said that you, you want, you, you, there are certain things that your taxes go to that you do support that you want and you like, and there are some things that your taxes go to that, that you don't like, that, yeah. that you don't support that are, I mean, we're talking about the drug war. It's not just that it's, it's bad policy. It's like it's, it's unethical, right, to, to deny people their health freedom. I, I'm sorry. I really got to go. This is getting a little too unclear. Uh, I wasn't quite prepared to have, a, to have a long conversation about it, so... Does it make you uh, uncomfortable to consider these, these uh, principal questions? Consider these, it doesn't make me uncomfortable to consider these issues, but we're running late for a show and I really have to go. All right, well, thank so you for your time. All right, yeah. appreciate it. Have a good one. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, 
The next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.